Alright guys, so this is what a Saturday in my life looks like. My truck is broken, once again, and my boyfriend's fixing it, so he's letting me borrow his truck. Of course, I had to have a little fun with it. I had to drop him off at work, obviously, so I could use his truck, and since he's being so kind to let me use it, I figured I'd bring him breakfast. And then I get to the barn to feed, and I'm greeted by a very angry Diesel this morning. Angry Diesel wants food now. After I fed the lower barn, I found out that the arena had been completely washed out once again, and this is 10 times worse than it was, and we literally just had it fixed a month ago, if that. Pretty bummed about that, but I went up and made some coffee to make myself feel better, made some breakfast. Then I walked into my disaster of a room, and I just wasn't feeling it, and it was making me feel like poop, so I decided to clean it up real quick. I felt so much better after that was done and I had taken a shower and it was really refreshing so I got some decals done while I was feeling in the productive mood. If you haven't seen my decal page I will link that Instagram in the description below so you can check that out and get your holiday orders in. After I got a bunch of those shipped out, I changed my riding outfit of the day, which was an Equestrian Bliss Clothing Company t-shirt, herd of zebra sweatshirt, and some tailored sportsman breeches, and I'll link all those in the description below. When I got to the barn, first thing I did was start organizing stuff, which you can kind of see in that back corner. Um, I started making a pile for our tax sale that we're having this weekend, and I have a lot of stuff I had to clear out. But then I started grooming on Girlfriend. She's really such a delight to groom. She really loves the attention and tacked her up and got ready to ride. This is only day two of asking her to soften to my hands and kind of get into a little bit of a frame and I'm honestly thrilled with what she's offering me. Her stride even looks a little bit better and is more consistent. And as far as her head and neck goes, she's really, really soft and supple and she's giving to my hands. All I'm doing is widening and pushing her through the bit, widening my hands that is and she's really offering me a lot. She's trying to just figure out where she wants to hold herself and she really doesn't have the muscle right now to hold herself so she's a little inconsistent with it but I mean she's trying so hard and I'm sure she'll have it down in just a couple rides. And then since my mom was videoing for me and she was walking back up to the house, I figured I'd walk with her and just take girlfriend on her first little supervised trail ride. Didn't have any other horses with us, so she was being really brave all by herself, had never ridden over in this area, never ridden out of the arena really. And so we just trotted around in this field a little bit and she was fantastic, did not step a little toe out of place. This field is full of holes and is really muddy and really hilly and awkward, but she was trying so, so hard and I'm so proud of her. She of course earned her cookie for the day and we groomed her and cleaned her up and put her away for the day. Then I got out the big guy and I didn't really have time to ride him and I didn't really have a plan for him for the day and I don't like to go into things unplanned. So I decided to just kind of give him a little spa day. He was a little gross from being turned out all morning so I curried all the dried sweat and dirt off of him and gave him a nice little spray down with Sport Horse Essentials coat spray and picked out his feet and detangled his tail and he was a happy boy. I got Robbie's truck just a little bit muddy but that's okay. Then it was time to bring his truck to him at work and I'm very very blessed that my mom helps me as much as she does with the barn because she was able to feed the rest of the weekend for us while we worked on my truck. There's Sylvia with her beautiful toe strap that we used to pull her off the side of the road. Also very blessed with the best boyfriend in the world who helped me for probably 8 hours to fix my truck on a Sunday. Seriously, he's the best.
I'm trying to learn all I can from him, but all I know is that we replaced, or he replaced, I watched the torque converter in my truck. And it was so much work, but he did it in record time. And I honestly just did a bunch of computer work while he worked on it and I got to watch him. But that was our weekend.